one time I got into a fight, kind of, not really. It was uh, someone's birthday that worked at the club and a woman was serving cake for the birthday. And she normally is a t-shirt lady for the DJ. She sells t-shirts for the DJ. And, uh, but today she was serving cake and I guess she didn't want to. But I didn't know that. I just walk up, I see my friend Lori there, and I'm like, hey, Lori, where you been? And she's helping her, you know, cut cake and stuff. So the woman comes at me. She's like, you want cake? <laughs> I'm like, Bitch, it ain't your birthday. What the hell are you so aggressive for? With the, you know, but you know how you do with cake. You just go, no, you know. No cake. No cake. Intermittent fasting, you know. No cake after eight. Do you want cake? And I was like, no. Why is she so upset? She said again, do you want cake? I was like, no. She's like, then goodbye, goodbye. And I was like. <laughs> Speaking of strong black woman, it's not my reaction. I was like. Here's the thing, like, I look at this, uh, I'm, I work out, I can, you know, I box four times a week, but wait. <laughs> I forgot to mention, this was a Latino woman in a bad mood with a knife. <laughs> Cutting cake. Sometimes, you know, part of my training is you gotta do the math. <laughs> Like, I trained to box and all, but she looked like she never had to train. <laughs> looked like it was just in her. And I, I just, I walked away. I was so uncomfortable. You know, you ever look at your phone because you're so uncomfortable, you look for a text? <laughs> There's nothing there. So I text my friend Lori. I go, why didn't you say anything, you know? You always get mad at men touching me. Why didn't you say anything to cake, bitch? I was so upset, man. And I thought, it just bothered me the whole night. And then the next day, I, uh, I decided to write a letter to the club. <laughs> That's what I do. Oh, I'm a letter writer. Yelp reviews, whew. That's when I'm at my most woke. <laughs> So I wrote the DJ, because I knew, I was like, he's attached to her, I'm gonna get this bitch. <laughs> Dear DJ, currently working on a project for CNN, maybe not. <laughs> you gotta draw them in. <laughs> this past week at the club, you were amazing. I'm interviewing DJs and at some point would love to interview you. I do think you should know this. And it's only because I care. <laughs> I experienced something that I think you should be aware of. The woman who sells t-shirts for you tonight, she was on cake duty. <laughs> and she yelled at me because I did not want cake. I know, it's like, you didn't know black women did this, did you? <laughs> I mean, it was way out of line. She actually told me goodbye and told me to move from where I was standing, which is, by the way, a free space for anyone. She said it three times and it was beyond angry and I can't tell you how this broke my heart. <laughs> I wrote that. You know what, you should read things out loud before you send it. <laughs> Ida, the bathroom attendant, agrees with me. 